What's up? And welcome to Mets in the Cage, the official Mets batting practice show. I'm Mike Janella. We're going to let you watch the Mets take VP here in a second and talk to number two Mets prospect Brett Beatty, who's making his home debut tonight as the Mets get ready to take on the Colorado Rockies. But first, let's set the table for this series. Mets are back from a brutal road trip. Four at Atlanta, four in three days at Philly, and then two at the Yankees. But the Mets now have 10 games here at home with a day off baked in there after the day off yesterday. A chance to reset, recharge for that playoff push. The Mets in a stretch where they play 27 games in 26 days, win 18-9, and nine, and now get four against the Rockies, who have been either in last or next to last in the NL West since May 9th. Break it all down later. Jacob DeGrom pitches tonight as well. But for now, enjoy Mets batting practice. And we'll be right back with Brett Beatty. Here now with the Mets' number two ranked prospect, number 18 in all of baseball, Brett Beatty. Brett, in the bigs here, first home stand, first home game, first home series. How you feeling, man? I feel great. I just can't wait to get the game going and uh, see the crowd, see the atmosphere, see the Mets fans. Uh, everybody's been telling me they bring a lot of energy, so I can't wait to get out there. You brought a lot of a lot of stuff. Your first at bat, you go yard, your first big league at bat. Not many people get to do that. Only the fifth guy in Mets history to do it. I'm sure you, you've talked about it at nauseum about how that felt and what that moment was like. But what I want to know, your family was there in person. What they tell you as soon as they saw you after? Yeah, I mean, I, I got to watch the video during the rain delay during that game, and I just saw how happy they were for me, and, and just to have them there and for them to be able to uh, just witness that with me, uh, it was truly a dream come true, and, I, and I'm blessed for, for that for sure. How do you balance the fact that this is a dream come true for you and you're living out your big league dream, but also you're right in the starting lineup for a team that's got playoff aspirations and more. How do you get that, that balance when this is your first taste of all this? I mean, that's exactly what I wanted right when I come up here. I, I wanted to be in the starting lineup every single day and I want to be able to help this team win. And, and uh, I feel like I'm having good ABs right now and, and seeing, seeing the pitch as well. So I just want to continue that and help contribute to winning ball games. What's been the biggest thing for you adjustment-wise, stepping in the box versus when you're down in the minor leagues? What's been the biggest thing that maybe has surprised you the most you weren't expecting? Uh, I got a little bit of a taste in uh, AAA. I faced a couple of big leaguers when, I, when we uh, played Buffalo that, that week that I was there. But these guys just know where to put the ball, and, and they really know how to sequence pitches. And, and I'm starting to understand that and starting to realize that, and, and hopefully I can continue what I've been doing. Well, Brett, everyone's been waiting for you to be a big part of the Mets' future. Now you're a big part of the Mets' present. Appreciate you taking the time, and best of luck the rest of the way. Yeah, thank you so much.
Our thanks to Brett Beatty. Hope you enjoyed the Mets taking BP. And now get ready. Get the popcorn. This Jacob DeGrom night here at City Field. Ryan Feltner versus Jacob DeGrom. Seems like a bit of a mismatch. Jake has been just what we expected. What do you expect from a GOAT except for greatness? 37 strikeouts, a .51 whip in his first four starts since coming off the IL for the Mets this year. And he gets a chance to take on a Colorado lineup that could lend itself to a lot of Ks for Jake tonight. All right, Rockies and Mets, game one of a four-game set coming up. Thanks for watching. Mets in the cage.